in the mogul. Welcome to the Rocket Boom slash Know Your Meme headquarters in New York City. Behind me, the very famous Rocket Boom map of the world. These guys have been doing daily internet video news for a long time. Uh, I think since the 1800s. They would deliver it via Pony Express, which was kind of a weird system, but the settlers in the West, they loved it. If you haven't seen it, you guys got to check it out. It's a lot easier to get to now than it was before in the 1800s, because that was a long time ago. This week's fight was all about taking a beloved film or film franchise and rebooting it. Basically, making your own version. A lot like J.J. Abrams did with Star Trek. Our first film was made by the team of somewhat awesome couple of dudes from Australia. They've taken up the task of rebooting the classic indie film, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. <laughs> there was nothing cute about that. <laughs> so what did you think? I thought it was pretty good, actually. Was that supposed to be cute? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's kind of like one of those internet things where you have to play a game really intently and then something goes, ah! You know, the radio at, the, at first was a little confusing, but, but the like, you know, the sort of long, tense tones, very, you know, puts you on edge a little bit. I liked the general mood of it. Does every reboot need to have the lens flare now because it's after <laughs> Star Trek? But it's so work. easy in After Effects. I like the obvious use of Day for Night. I haven't seen Day for Night <laughs> since like sophomore year like film school. I miss it. I kind of weirded out by the guy who walks across the screen for a minute there. Uh... Who, who's outside? Oh. So maybe that was like a, a distraction from the upcoming Terra. Actually, there that's just like... Drew Barrymore grown up. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like maybe like a, a trailer. I would have liked to see like a little more content. Like it was good at establishing mood mm -hmm. um, and a sense of suspense, but I think there could have been a bit more of a narrative. Why was the extraterrestrial there? How did it get there? I love the editing. Uh, you know, you're, they're they're cutting right on the action, as a, and you know it's, it's not necessarily about continuity; it's about skipping forward to the next, like the next good part of you know this story. I, I think that's great. Um, is he like crazy, or is he like? He's solid. He's solid. Yeah. He's like a solid dude. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Our second film was a reboot of the novel slash Will Smith movie I Am Legend. It's done by four dudes from Georgia who comprise Mega Black Suit Productions. They're fans of George A. Romero and classic horror, and it really shows in this dark, atmospheric piece. It was one of those cloudy days again. I went to look for food. Got as far as I've ever gotten. Came across this long driveway. <laughs> I knew it was dangerous, but I also knew that not a lot of people would have gone down it. Maybe there would be a house that hasn't been touched yet. There's no food in there. 
He was one of them. But he's just a kid. But I told you to stay outside. You did the right thing, Robert. It wasn't a boy you killed, it was a monster. Yeah, I know, it's... They, they still look like humans, it just, it just gets hard sometimes. But it has to be done. Yeah, I know. How was your day? I am a new superstition. Entering the unassailable fortress of forever. The I Am Legend Mega Black Suit Productions. Yeah. What do you think? I think that the music and the pacing really worked. The voiceover got a little uh, cheesy almost. The sound effects were really good. Whatever camera he used didn't quite match up to the, the epicness of the sound. I always feel like the delayed whispers, I, they always make me want to laugh, and it's usually at the last <laughs> place that you should be laughing. Like. It's Children of the Corn. Oh! They did it, and yeah. then no one else is allowed to do it afterwards. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. <gasps> It was a bit ambiguous as to how long it had been in that situation. Like it seemed very new. There weren't, wasn't much dust on them. That was a good opportunity for product placement though. I noticed yeah. the GIF and the coffee mate. I thought the, the lighting scheme was really good. It sort of, it, there were certain points where it reminded me of the first alien. I think it's interesting that they use handheld for a lot of the early scenes when he's supposed to be, when they're supposed to be creating a sense of like aloneness. If it's his viewpoint, it would be fine if it's the shaky camera because then you understand that, that his, that's his line of sight. But all of the rest of the shots should be like this. Totally, and, and, and actually there's one other reason why, and that's that later on, you see the shaky cam, right? Because yeah, he's yeah. like, it's kinetic, there's a lot of energy there. If they were to save that save shot, or that, that handheld shot for that moment, yeah, yeah. it would have felt so much stronger. Yeah. Man, oh! So you've seen the two films now. Yes. Of the two films, which one is your favorite? I like I Am Legend. YouTube is not friendly to me. Um, but I Am Legend just because I felt like I left the E.T. feeling unsatisfied. I'm gonna say E.T. just because it's so punchy. And um, cause even though I, I pretend to hate them, I actually like things that scare me. <laughs> I'm gonna go with E.T. I'm also going to go, I, hmm. <laughs> I'm also gonna go with E.T. They do a better job of building a story, of building uh, up to a moment where we have this release. I like the second one much better. It's, it's much more emotionally moving to me. The cinematography on this is much better than the other one as well. Hey, my name is Casey Margulis. I'm an indie mogul fan. I was in a few uh, feature films, and I'm here to judge some film for Film Bites TV. Ugh. I Am Legend had a really good story behind it, and the shots were, were pretty good. The whole zombie being a kid thing worked out really well. E.T. was uh, short and to the point. The shots were placed at the perfect spots. I Am Legend could have had better lighting at the dark places in the video, and the makeup for the zombie could have been a little better. E.T. Uh, could have gone without the fake car light. E.T. was my favorite. It was short, sweet, to the point, and it was really, really well put together. Good job! There you go, Justin! <laughs> I'm going insane! Are you a filmmaker who wants in on film fights? Check out our Future Fights page to see what's coming up next. And if you're a filmmaker who's looking for 
prizes and cash money and all that kind of stuff, check out Film Fight's sister site, onlinevideocontests.com. Great place to find contests and all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching Film Fights TV. I've been your host, Justin Johnson. I'm looking forward to good films and good fights. Good fight.